Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. It is finally warm enough to spray paint, so I have plans for this plain old doormat. Stay tuned. Every time I go to Ikea, I pick up one of these doormats. They're plain, they're big, they're about $8. They're really easy to customize. I have some fun plans for this one. The best part about this project is that I get to use all of my leftover spray paint. You'll notice that this tape doesn't stick to the doormat the way it would a smooth surface. That's totally okay. I'm gonna run my hand over it and smooth it down as best I can, but it's definitely not gonna be perfect. Before I go any further, I should mention that I am in my shed. I have two enormous doors that are open to the outside, so I have tons of ventilation. So here's my cheat. I'm gonna use this scrap plywood and I'm gonna line it up with the edge of my tape and that'll be an extra barrier to prevent the overspray. Normally when you are doing spray paint, you wanna keep a pretty good distance from whatever you're painting. For this, I really want that spray to get into the fibers. So I'm gonna hold this pretty close and that will also help with the overspray. So you'll notice I have tape here, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna line up my board with that edge and this edge. Notice that I'm holding the spray can right above. That will help keep this line as crisp as possible. I think the board actually provides most of the protection, but what I like about the tape is that it keeps me from worrying about the wet paint left over on the board, actually. Notice I'm making my strips of tape long enough to wrap around the edge of the doormat. Ta-da! Rainbows, rainbows. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day.